in Hawaiian, when we just meet somebody, we'll say, Ovai Koinoa. Translated to English means, what is your name? But Hawaiian thinking is different. When you break the, the structure down, Inoa means name. Ko means your. But Vai means what? It also means water. And so really what we're asking is, what is the name of your water? Right? And what is the name of your water? Do you know the first name, the name of your water? It's mom. For nine months, she carries you in her water. That's your first water. And then when, when she gives birth to you, then you get to know everybody else's water. If we're made up of water, that's the first water you get to know. And so that's why genealogy is important in the Hawaiian culture. If you don't know your genealogy, you don't know yourself. If you don't know yourself, you don't know anything, right? I grew up in a system that was very American in thinking and in approach. And so I never grew up with the Hawaiian culture. My parents were divorced, so I grew up in two different places at the same time. I grew up in the projects, and I grew up in a country-style home. But my education was always first for my parents. They made sure that I had a, a good education despite my living conditions. And uh, as I got older, I started to lose interest. I started to ask questions like, why are we learning about George Washington? What about King Kamehameha? What about Queen Lilio Kalani? What about those folks? And, and you don't see a chapter in our history books about it. And I didn't see the purpose of going to school, so I just dropped out. Right? And I started going on the streets, and I started to learn different truths. Street art, it's, it's right in your face, you know, and that's what I like about it. It's, it's in your face and it's about our people. 808 Urban is, is a, a Hawaiian organization that focuses on, on using art as a vehicle to tell stories and hopefully keep youth out of trouble. Ten years ago, there was no program that supported the arts, right? Or to even consider or entertain the thought that you can make a difference in your community with a spray can. It's always seen as destruction. So when I started pitching this idea of, of a program that supports the spray can arts, everyone was like, oh, no, you can't do it. You know, this was ten years ago. So I basically begged people to paint on their wall. You know, I would go door to door, and it was a, you know, it was a hit or a miss. Majority of the times it was a miss because as soon as they see the spray cans, they automatically think, oh, cops are gonna show up. You know, so it, it, it was, it was a, a really, really tough push, and I think I'm the only one stupid enough to do it. You know, and, and that stupidity obviously paid off 10 years later because from there we started doing programming. We started working with kids. And then these kids that understood the streets and they understood the culture, it was a safe place for us to engage and, and talk story and, and then start to shape them and mold them into our community leaders. What do you want to bring to the wall? Awesomeness. Awesome. <laughs> um, flawless. Coolness. Pride. Unity. Serenity. Legacy. Aloha. This is the fifth mural that I've been on with Prime. Prime has developed this process um, that is inclusive of everyone and that anyone and everyone can participate and be a part of the, the greater purpose, which is painting the mural. So, over the past few days, people have been coming and going and um, dipping their hand in paint and placing it on the wall. Um, this part of the process is called mana lima. Mana meaning power or energy, and uh, lima meaning hands. 
So, you know, what we share with the community is, you know, we have mana in our lima, we have power in our hands. We can build great things or we can, you know, bring destruction. So, you know, the choice is really up to us. When we can concentrate and focus our good energy, pour it into one purpose or, you know, anything, pour it into anything, that great things can happen and beautiful things can happen. Aloha I believe by doing this process, we lock in the DNA of, of the people of this place, right? So that, that's the, the, the first part of the mural making process is the Manalima part, where we lock in the DNA of the people. And then when we disappear, you know, 100, 200, 2,000 years from now, future archaeologists can come by, tear this wall apart, and rediscover the DNA of the people, that, the civilization that was here before them. We spend a lot of time looking at the wall, letting the image come out, and then we start painting. Right? What is this part of the, the wall saying? What is this, and how does it relate to the story that we want to tell? Growing up in a Western world, in a Western society, we're often influenced by Western perspective, you know, and we lose a lot of our heritage because we, you know, we operate and we live in somebody else's language. We live in somebody else's world, you know, so we forget to return and come back and um, hold true to what our kupuna have left us. Anybody from this community who have participated, now they have a story to tell. Before coming into the organization, I think I would consider myself as a rascal, um, anger at the world, you know, just like a regular teenager. So being involved with the organization, it made me like think about the things that you can do more of to create a better community and so that kind of reflected back in my education and how, you know, there's so much things to learn and so much things to be involved at in school and out of school. And so that's when I paid more attention in my education and how just that can help, not just myself, but my family and my community to move forward. At this point in my life, I'm, I'm sort of phasing out of the organization and letting the other kids come in and really taking it to the next level or taking it to a totally different level. So teaching them the foundation of what I grew up with then allowing them space to grow from there, knowing that their foundation is solid. I'm excited to see what comes from it. My intention wasn't to build an organization. My intention was to build a family. So till, till this day, our family's gotten so much bigger that it's, it's beautiful. I would say Prime is love. You know, the amount of aloha and love that he shares and the amount of time that he affords to the greater community, that's only love. If I could describe anybody to anybody that don't know him, in one word, I would say, yeah, matter prime is love. <laughs> you guys got, you guys got the birds this week. Oh, wow. <laughs>